Hello and welcome to video number four. In this particular video, you're going to learn how to use AW Stats, which is built in to the cPanel and how to apply it to your business. Essentially, knowing what goes on in your website is crucial. And we'll discuss about what the differences are between AW Stats and Google Analytics. Uh, Google Analytics typically gives you a more granular view of what's going on in your business. But that said, not everybody uses Google Analytics. Not everyone uses it at the right time. So the nice thing about cPanel is your AW stats is always running. And there are specific golden nuggets that it gives you that Google Analytics does not really give you. And we'll dive into that further. So in other words, not only will you be given an overview of AW stats, but You'll learn different features of AW Stats that if used correctly can actually go beyond and increase your website traffic and protect you as well. You'll also learn how people find you, what keywords they are using to type in search engines and how to use that to your advantage. And you'll also learn who is linking to you for good reasons or even bad reasons so that you can protect yourself. So we're going to take a little bit of out of box thinking here and show you some things that you may never have seen before. So to access AW stats, all you need to do is go back to your main screen, as you can see here and scroll down and under metrics, you'll see AW stats. Now I want to briefly talk about these other metrics. The visitors basically just tell you every single IP address, and every single file that they are accessing. So if you want a granular view of what is happening detail-wise, what people are accessing, what IP addresses are accessing your site, you would go here. So that would be probably a little bit more overwhelming to the average Joe. Now, that's there though, if you wanna do that. And then of course, bandwidth just tells you how much bandwidth or how many files in the metric of like megabytes or gigabytes, your prospects and site visitors are actually using. So if you have a lot of videos, you have thousands of gigabytes of videos and there are hundreds of people visiting it per day, it gives you a better idea of how much your website is actually using. So in addition to that, you can click on AW stats. Now I'm not gonna show you, otherwise it'll show you my domain, but if you click on that, it'll give you the option to either choose the the regular yourdomain.com or the SSL version of yourdomain.com. So, and then of course you're going to see your monthly history over time, what is happening on your website, the days, the months, which months are potentially getting more traffic. So that's something that I would highly advise you to really start looking into. Like what days are your visitors reacting? Are there certain days that are better than others? because it's gonna be different for different websites. And knowing that information is actually gonna really help you increase your traffic and potentially increase your sales if you're running a business. We've got days of week, we've got hours, which is crucial. You might notice that you might be getting more people at a specific hour, specific time. And knowing this data is important because you can connect it to your email autoresponder system and email people at that specific hour. So really taking yourself out of the box and understanding what is happening here, how are people interacting with your website is crucial. And then we have locales, which is basically where people are coming from, the different countries, different locations, and all of that. We have different hosts, we have different authenticated users, and then what kind of robots are visiting your site? Is Google coming to your site and indexing your site? Is Yahoo, is other search engines doing that? And then the visits, duration, how long are people actually staying on your site? Are they staying a few seconds? If they are, that might not be a good sign. Maybe you can look at your content and see why. If they're staying a long, long time on specific pages, then why is that? Is it because their videos, are they intriguing? What is that? So use this data to your advantage. You can see file types. What kind of files are they accessing? 
Are they accessing regular pages? Are they downloading files? Are they downloading a lot of zip files or video files or, or whatever? And then different pages. What kind of pages are they accessing? What kind of operating systems are they using? What kind of browsers are they using? And you can also see where they're coming from. So you can see what search engines are sending traffic to you and who is linking to you. What are what files are they linking to? And this is a great way to figure out who is linking to you. Are they doing it for good reasons and they're maybe recommending you or are they linking to you and trying to hijack your files and maybe they found like a loophole in your files and they're you know sharing it with everybody else illegally you can find that information and find what is happening within aw stats for that you can also see the search phrases like what kind of search phrases are people typing in to google to find you so this is really good to have. So we got search key phrases, which are phrases, a bunch of keywords put together, or we have keywords in the top 25 right here. And then of course you can see the different types of browsers people are using with different types of support. Now, whether that is useful for you, that might be, that might not be. But at the end of the day, what I found is from here up to here usually is very, very, uh, good golden nuggets that you could potentially use in other areas of your business. So that's basically an overview of AW stats and why it is good for you. But at the same time, definitely install Google Analytics and look at both, compare both and see what is happening in your business and your website.